In a culture and industry that thinks highly of their seniors, Korean actors would naturally keep their mouths shut at any dismissible inconveniences and think positively of all situations. Nonetheless, once the actors have reached their limits, the results won't be so pretty. Today, let's discuss cases where an actor or actress has had enough and vocalize their distress at particular co-workers. Number 1. Park Hae-jin – Cheese in the Trap In 2016, actor Park Hae-jin kicked up quite the controversy about his drama Cheese in the Trap, saying, The power of the webtoon Cheese in the Trap motivated me to join the cast, without knowing who would be producing or who would be co-starring. But now, I can't trust anyone. So what was the issue that drove the actor into his distrust? Well, there were two signs in the drama that you, as a viewer, may have noticed. First, the male lead Yoo Jung, aka Park Hae Jin's character, gradually receded from the show, to the point that he had less screen time than a piano. Second, the story started sidetracking halfway through, and every development that led up to that moment merely crumbled. Something smelled extremely fishy, and viewers knew it. The situation got even worse as the drama ended. Fan talks and conspiracies turned into a full-scaled outcry when a news source revealed that the entire production crew was on a post-filming vacation, without the male lead. And to make things even worse, side stories arose, saying that Heijin actually wrapped up filming five days earlier, compared to the rest of the cast. Soon, an exclusive interview with actor Heijin exposed all the juicy details. In particular, the actor expressed his confusion at the reason why his character was disappearing, adding that a lot of his scenes did not make the cut, despite having already been filmed. All the crucial childhood memories and emotional plot lines between the male lead and his dad were mercilessly omitted from the series, transforming a complex and layered character into a sociopathic, self-centered one. As the actor put it, his character had completely derailed from what was originally promised. The sentiment was shared by Soon Ki, the webtoon creator herself, in a public blog post. According to her, since February, she was excluded from discussion after episode 6, and had no clue about what plot would be produced. Basically, both Sun Ki and Heijin had dissed the messy production, and the total loss of direction in the plot. Number 2. Han Yesul, Spy Myung Wol. It's no exaggeration to say that the set of Spy Myung Wol ran into quite the crisis. In August 2011, their lead actress Han Yesul ignored all filming calls and basically sent everyone into panic. No one could locate her whereabouts, no updates were given on her return, and all shootings were indefinitely halted. It was frustrating to the crew, seeing that only 40% of the series had finished filming, and they may miss the airing schedule. As a result, the production team had to whip up a special episode as a quick filler. Anyways, with all this context, what exactly happened that caused Yesul's MIA? Well, the actress explained that she has been mistreated, and an official statement claimed health concerns and irresolvable schedule conflict. Netizens were quick to point fingers at the actress, calling her selfish and irresponsible. However, insiders told a different version, which was full of poor working conditions, and some even called out the PDs and crew as violators of Korean labor law. The talented actor Yang Dong-gun even jumped to Yesul's defense, saying, If she was sly, she would have just gone to the hospital, got IV shots, and complained about her long working hours. He also called the netizens' reaction a witch hunt, and pointed out that the main culprit is none other than the broadcaster. It just makes me sick, he concluded. Others who also work in the industry basically shared the same sentiment, and expressed that production constantly infringes upon their own human rights, all while praising the actress for her action. Unfortunately, with a lawsuit hanging on her head, Yesul must return to filming. Her call-out in the industry was still quite a memorable moment. Number 3. Lee Dahe, East of Eden Lee Dahe was another actor who was vocal about her discontent with her very own drama. In 2008, the actress joined the cast of East of Eden as the female lead Min Hye Rin. The series was on its way to being the next classic with historic ratings before the actress suddenly dropped the show. According to her, she did not understand the character Min Hye Rin, and didn't want to have to act out the illogical actions of the character that is making her look like an idiot. Which was… pretty ouch, considering that she was basically dissing the screenwriter. 
Unfortunately, Dahe's criticism was not met with praise. Instead, the sudden departure not only caused divisive backlash from the viewers, but also threw the whole production crew and cast into disarray. In fact, it was reported that, following her withdrawal, there was complete chaos. Many other characters, especially those related to Hyerin, had to be removed, and people were running deadlines everywhere to fix up the drama. Luckily, it wrapped up pretty well, and ended on a surprisingly successful note. On the contrary, Lee Dahe wasn't too satisfied. Though she herself decided to leave, the decision still haunted the actress for quite a while. One year after the turbulence, she confessed to having cried and lost some weight, questioning if what she did was right. Well, I can't blame her too much because Hyerin as the character did go down the drain in the latter half, but the abrupt leaving and public criticism made for quite the drama. Number 4. Kim Jisoo, Hwarang Kim Jisoo has her time to shine as the evil empress dowager in Hwarang. However, it seemed just the series didn't at all live up to her expectations, and Hwarang went downhill a bit too much for her to handle. The result is a post on Instagram, where Jisoo lamented, It's hard to always get good projects. I often start something because it seems great, but then it goes off course. There are many unexpected factors. Now, while Jisoo didn't explicitly mention Hwarang, she did attach with that caption a photo of herself as the Empress Dowager, which speaks volumes. And while Hwarang isn't exactly praised by the regular watcher, Jisoo still found herself under a show of criticism. Netizens labeled the actress as a team kill and killjoy, while others found her shade disc to be unnecessary and unprofessional. There are many people who worked hard. You're putting all of them down, they said as if they did not complain about the series just a couple of days ago. Luckily, the issue didn't fly out of proportion, and despite Jisoo's complaints about the series, the cast maintained a healthy relationship. In fact, when actress Go Ara acted in Do Do Sol Sol La La Sol, Jisoo even sent her a coffee truck as support. Number 5. Han Ga-in, Witch Yuhi Witch Yuhi earned a name for itself in the K-drama world, albeit for a not-so-positive reason. Instead, the series is well known for its terrible acting and questionable storyline, and the fact that its female lead hates the drama so much, she dropped from the show. Now, prior to its airing, Witch Yu He was highly anticipated for having an all-star production team and a cast, among which is the famous actress Han Ga-in. Having been the face of multiple commercial endorsements, and marketing her presence with Super Rookie, the actress earned the chance to be the female lead in this drama. Everything was looking bright, or at least, that's what we thought. Instead of living up to expectations, the story of Witch Yu He went completely down the drain. Han Ga In was heavily criticized for poor acting and stupid character, to the point she exploded in retaliation. Basically, the actress pointed fingers at the director and writer, mocked their unseasoned filmmaking and ineptness for long-running dramas, all while ignoring her acting disputes. Needless to say, things turned out to be a mess. The director and writer expressed their dissatisfaction with the actress, and called her a backstabber who didn't voice any complaints while they filmed. As a result, the audience turned their back on the actress, and mocked that her harsh comments were probably just a desperate attempt to leave herself out of a sinking ship. Still, this wasn't enough to drown out the actress, as in 2012, she managed to climb back via the historical drama Moon Embracing the Sun. People never really forgot about this incident but the actress can always use her abilities to convince them. So, in these cases, do you think the actors were in the right? Were they brave for calling out shitty productions or just plain rude? Comment your opinion down below! And if you want more videos like this, like, share, and subscribe to Polydrama. We'll come back soon. See ya!